बुद्धि की मुख्य में रखता
Corinna mi spiega. Quindi, per quanto è un vicino, quando 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 è un vicino, to create the document, document list tab. If I want to design a new report, please use the new option, web intelligence document, all the available universities will be appear. Please choose the respective universe, then the query panel is going to open. Based on our requirement, that is end user requirement, from the query panel, our input is nothing but the class and object. So we can use this class and object, that is here, state, from the measure, sensor name. So that is select statement, where it is retrieving all the data, nothing but Select the year state and sales revenue from the table. But I don't want the, all the data. Then you have a query filter panel there. Even if I want to apply the filter or condition or anything or using the where class, what are the requirements? To apply the where class, what are the requirements? Anybody? Anybody? To apply the Yeah, object, operator, operator. First you can say, what the end user expecting? Let us suppose we are expecting only 2004 data. Then the 2004 belongs to which object? Then you can decide whether he is expecting only a single value, use the equal to operator. If he is expecting more than one value, use the only to operator. Okay, so operand value, then you can decide. Object, operator, operand value. So here we have a query filter panel, if you want to do. Query filter panel, what are the requirements? Object, where is my object? Where I have to drive? Left hand click, you have to drive. What we have? Objects only. What I need? Which object I need? Under the time period. So, and you are expecting 2004 data. Then please use the E. Slowly drag and drop to your query filter panel. Object is selected. Defaultly, it is showing the index operator. I don't want the index. I want to apply differently. Drop down. You can see lots of operator surface. Equal to first single value selection. Then here the same as is of emotional whatever we discussed. Here also two types of query filters. Two types. One is static condition. Here also we are calling a condition, static condition, dynamic condition. Same thing. Static condition means what? Static condition, we already discussed in the remote level. Anybody can explain? What is static condition? Very good. The fixed operand, if the developer has given the fixed operand value, if you define that, nobody can change the value question level. 
what is the end you are expecting, then you can find the value, then you are entering. If you run the query, if the end user refreshing the data multiple times, the data will not be changed. Refresh, refresh, the data will not be changed. Always it is data for year 2004 condition. So the condition will not change. Always it is retrieving 2004 data belonging data. That is static. But if the end user wants to give the value dynamically, he wants to enter, you should not give. Then that is dynamic condition. Static condition fixes operand value. The dynamic condition, end user will provide the value. You don't worry about that. End user will give dynamic condition. How I can give this chance to the end user in the universe when I explain it? What is that? Dynamic condition concept. If I want to define on the universe level, how to define? What is that? Anybody? So then tomorrow I will ask a question from the complete universe designing and still know what our discussion did. So you have a weekend and you are not going to the you are forgetting the, the pre previous classes. Then what is the use of learning the course? Please don't do that. If you are learning new things, please don't remember don't forget the, the previous one. Not in stuff and what I told you at cron function. If I want to define the dynamic condition at the universe level, I have to define the at cron function. In the universe level I have to define at cron function, five parameters I have to define. But here you have to just use the comp option. You don't need to define anything. Now for I'm saying eleven. You go back to the query panel. Previously, you just enter a static value. Instead of that, if you drop down, we have an option, the prompt option. Then only it is going to point into the end user. You have to enter the value. Just, I am just using the prompt option. I should not give any parameters here. It will come automatically. In the universe level, we have defined those many parameters. But in the report level, I have to just use the option. I know it to define. It has thrown a method automatically. If you don't want that message, okay, if you don't want that message, I want to give it a two. I can give whatever method I want. Just arrange it and we can define. It will give some message in point. If you don't want that method, you can arrange it and you can define your own message as per the requirement. Most of the times, end user will expect what message you want to give. Then that method you can type here. Whenever he is going to refresh the report, he is going to refresh the report, automatically a pop up window will appear to him. Please enter. It is just a given message. Please enter the value in the tools 2004. From the report, who will follow data? If you don't want, what is the advantage of dynamic condition? I can enter the value dynamically while report at the same time. If I don't want 2004, I can do some other value. I can get the, the respective data data. I can refresh, I can refresh value for other value. So, like that, I can refresh. So that is the beauty of the dynamic condition. The end user can enter the value dynamically while report refreshing time. What are the values you want to see? Okay. So one condition I just applying as a prompt, as a static. Same time. Please observe, whenever you are applying more than one condition, defaultly what is the operator? End the operator. What is the meaning of end operator? Yeah, above condition should be satisfied and below condition should be satisfied. 
Nichts ändern, nein, ist was es ist. Okay, now we can enter. What value do you want? I want the DC and the Colorado. Which is 2004. 2004, Colorado and DC. I give this one. I want the 2005 also. 2005 already taken. I need 2005. Run the report. Report is refreshed. Within the year, within the year, I want to add one more condition. That is quarter. Let us suppose. How I am placing? If I am placing the quarter, it is just the end. But what I am expecting, within the year I want to filter. Then, please run the Slowly drag and drop. Below the year and below the quarter, no problem. Then you can answer. Nested condition. If you drag it here, those are normal conditions. If you are placing like this, those are nested conditions. Within the condition, I get one more condition. You want to? That is common. That is static and dynamic. That is common. Do you want to make it as a dynamic or static? Again, default end operator. No, no. Double click. Automatically R operator. So here we can observe. What is the output I can get? Either. And remove These are normal conditions, how we are, how we are drag and dropping. Either year equal to something or state equal to something. If I want to apply the condition of quarter as no problem. You can just drag. As you well, if I want to add quarter also as a condition, you can add it. Stay tuned to back. Okay, if you want. Yes, so that's that. And this quarter also taking as a normal condition. You can apply as a dynamic you want or static you want as you wish. Yeah, I come inside. This is a normal condition. We are selecting a static and dynamic. But what I'm expecting is within the year I want to play. Just add the quarter slowly can move within the year as more well below you can place, no problem. That is about this is below. Now it is R and I want to make it as the R. Double click on it. If you double click, automatically it will as the R. Either M condition or R condition. Here now the, what is the output? Either ES condition or quarter condition will be satisfied. If I give it as N, automatically here should be whatever the value I want to give. Quarter master should be Q1. Within the quarter again, I want to add one more condition. No problem. Select the month. Within the quarter. So within the month, I want to add one condition. No problem. We can add. So we can say these are all nested conditions. Within the one condition, you are going to add one more condition, one more condition. These are all master conditions. If you want to change the operator, you can double click on it. R operator. R operator. R operator. If you don't want that, just select delete button. Just select delete button. Just select delete button. Automatically, one by one will be removed. So this is the way where I can apply the method transition concept. Carry on to the wait for you. Yeah. Finally, 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 those are two types of static and dynamic. But the static and dynamic defining is different, see that. Hmm. 
equal to the first one is typing that is constant see the default here that is constant is selected that you can type that is one meaning that is static second one also you don't know what values are having then I'm just selecting that is also static but it displaying from the database instead of I am typing I am selecting that is also static and the prompt this is dynamic but the object please see the object object means if I want to refer some other some other object which are defined in the universe object and this then see the automatically it is referring in your universal object any, any object if I want to define I can define but that, that is not the valid condition here equal to what is not the valid condition okay. so when it is useful if you have a let us suppose time universe I have time universe which holds the, all the information of time within the time we can create number of objects example I can define a day one, I can define a month one, I can define a week one, I can define a year one, I can define a year. So with all different different styles, let us suppose within the day I can define number of today minus one, today minus two, today minus three. Example, yes, example. Month minus two. Month minus two. Month minus three. These are all the objects I created based on the requirements of the end user. Okay. End user don't know who to defend the condition. Finally, what you want to see, the condition should be day minus two minus one. Then automatically SD data, SD data will be up here or data data will be up here. So like that of the like that object condition, if you want to define automatically, then we can use the object concept. Then automatically I can use the day as an object or level, I can play the same play. This object I can play. Then automatically I will get the data. So when we can use this type of the condition as an object in the operand state, if you have a, any Picture reports and you don't know that you want to refresh. So that time we can use this object concept. What are the conditions? Offer and level, what are the values you want to expect? That we can define as the object in the universal level. That object we can register. Just to offer and value we are defining as the object in the universal level. What are we expecting? So that time we can use the object concept. Clear to say? Yeah. That is the example. This is the example we have time. You have a time universe. Most of the time, that type of information we are going to make that. This is the one real time experience. So, this is the way you can define. So, please do the attainment. Don't forget the previous classes, what you have learned. So, tomorrow, like a one, just a mock type of everything. I will ask the question, please answer the question. Okay, so please go through the everything till you know what we discussed. It was creation and the report creation, everything what we discussed, you know. I will ask each and everybody. Yes. Okay. So don't forget. If any queries, please note on it. If you want, I will repeat it again. Don't, no problem. But not in the club. In a personal time, I will explain. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing happen. There is no limitation. It depends upon your requirements. Okay. So, any queries? So, this is the day. And one more, you can just try. Please tell me at least two differences. Applying the conditions on report level. Applying the conditions on query level. At least two. 
write my please with you, please meet your phone. Tell me something. I am expecting, so I am expecting the report level filtering, query level difference, query level filtering, at least two different you can explain. Why we have to use the report level, what is that one thing? Why we have to use the query level filtering, what is that one thing? You can explain at least two different things. Not now, not now, I'm not expecting now, okay? I'm not expecting now, so I will ask tomorrow class. In the meantime, please go through and think about that. The question is, report level filtering, query level filtering, what is the difference and which one is the advantage? That is the question. Please note down, have a look, explain on tomorrow class. Yeah, somebody is asking something, people. Okay. Vani? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ruddhi? Okay. I am going to send the file, studio file. Come to the file.